like I, I came on, you know, my piece was um, and my like kind of passion project. As soon as Stormy was was going out on tour last year in like 2018, mostly in the strip clubs, I was like, man, we got to we got to get people who are coming to see Stormy registered to vote and voting. If you're, I don't care what your politics are. If you're Team Stormy, we want you in in that ballot box. Or even if you're not Team Stormy, <laughs> that, exactly. I don't care. Just vote. Just vote. Just vote. <laughs> yeah. Vote. Only that, like I think it's like twelve percent of eligible voters in America actually vote. Twelve percent. It's atrocious. So this year we're heading into 2020. We've got work to do, <laughs> you know. And so Storm the Vote 2020 has officially launched, and that was kind of the piece I was talking about. Uh, we're streaming live on Storm the Vote Instagram right now. There's a link in the bio of that Instagram profile that will take you to register to vote in two minutes, literally two minutes. Like, but like order a drink, register to vote. By the time your drink arrives, you'll be a voter. You know? Yes. Amazing. So easy. So I was talking about that. Like, what? How? How can you be mad at that? You know what I mean? Like, but he was angry. He was so mad. He was He's so like, angry. Well, don't you think it's people's fault if they haven't registered? And what if they don't know the issue? <clears throat> what if they're stupid? And that's where I was like, well, you know, we can we can use our platforms to spread information to make it more easily accessible to people. Like, don't you think? Like, like on the radio and stuff. We can. You know, and he was just so mad, so mad. But we we got out alive. Um, Susie, please yeah. tell everybody what mm -hmm. to do and where to find us. All right. So stormthevote.com will be live by the time this podcast is live. So go check it out. There's some very wonderful photos of Stormy on there to incentivize you. Also, Kathy Griffin's like in some photos. We, we've, had a, we've had a wild couple of years. But 2020 is coming up. Not only do we have the general election on November 2nd, um, in California, we've got primaries on March 3rd. That's when we're going to be getting a new district attorney. And I don't know if y'all know, but district attorneys decide who goes to jail. So it's pretty important. Um, but the you what? I'm triggered. I, I'm so sorry. Okay. Pet your hair, pet your hair. <laughs> um, but here in Louisiana, um, I believe it's April 4th. So don't wait till November to get engaged and get excited about uh, voting. So please email stormthevote at gmail.com. We announced this last night and I checked our inbox this morning. Oh, and yes. It's real. Like people, people are responding. Like, and I, I'm, I'm such a sucker. Like, I'm such a bleeding heart, especially for democracy. Like, what a joke, right? <laughs> Joke's on me. I'm always falling for girls that are totally inaccessible, like democracy. Um, but we got um, an email from a lady who was like, hey, as a single mom from Texas, I'm so excited that you're doing this. Please let me know how I can help. Like, people emailing us and just being like, put me to work. What do I do? That's amazing. And that's what Storm the Vote is about. It's like... And this is why I don't have the password to this email address, because I'd be like... <laughs> Do you do windows? Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, but this is all very exciting. How many is. do? How many responses or likes and stuff do we get? How many people are watching? How many people are watching right now? We only have a couple watching, but the live we did last night has like over like a couple hundred because like it stays up for oh, twenty four okay, yeah. hours. Um, so yeah, people are engaged. Our following has and like it's, it's a relatively new page. Yeah, no, Brand absolutely. New. I mean, obviously we're you know we're we're building, but yeah, but um, we we launched it. I think. I think it was Expos yes. night, the 22nd. Um, and yeah, it's, you know, it's what we can do, right? I think a lot of people get so bogged down by how big, like, the problems are in this world. Mm -hmm. And, like, you know, if you can't solve it all at once, might as well just not do anything at all. Baby steps. Exactly. Small, measurable goals. You can register to vote in two minutes. Come see Stormy's show. <laughs> and, I've, you know, I'm, I'm a Suzy Q. I'm a little, like, Pollyanna. But the thing that really, like... The, the, the proof of concept that we have was in the 2016 election when the whole adult industry came together in California to defeat Proposition 60, which would have like decimated. We wouldn't have OnlyFans. We would not have any of right. the stuff that we have currently had that had had that passed. And we were outspent on that campaign by like 10 to 1. Like we had made less than a million dollars that we had all like pooled together and we're like, eh, is this a campaign? But what we had was people like you, Stormy, and people who have this, these huge platforms on because of porn, because of adult industry stuff. Mm 